Previously, we were able to find that the density of salt in salt water was essentially mass over volume. Mass must be in grams and volume in centimeters cubed. So whenever we are given milliliters or liters, we need to make sure we convert that into centimeters cubed. The value of the density became 0 0.090 grams per centimeters cubed. In this case, we were able to find the uncertainty the relative percentage uncertainty to be plus or minus 7% as we rounded it to one significant figure. Now let's take a look at how we can go from relative uncertainty back to absolute uncertainty so that our uncertainty has the same units as our density. Otherwise, when we're given percentages like this one, it becomes really hard to really quantify what does 7% actually mean. So knowing that this is plus or minus 7%, we can go back to the equation that we're used to. Um, the uncertainty conversion from relative to absolute involves this equation where we plug in our value um, as 0 0.09, our relative uncertainty is 7%. Because we're converting it back to a number now, we're not sticking with the percentage. So the 7% needs to be divided by 100%. And this gives us a total value of plus or minus 0 0.0063. Now, looking at this, this is where the precision comes in. We can see that this one is accurate to the tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths place by having this three here. Whereas our density value is only accurate to the tenths, hundredths, and thousandths. So these two are not the same, right? The values are not precise. They don't reflect the density calculation of being at the thousandths place. This means that we have to round it back up to the thousandths place and we get a final density absolute uncertainty calculation of 0 0.09 plus or minus 0.006 grams per centimeters cubed.